hello, hello. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Fly me to the moon. Good evening, teacher. Hey, what's up, Nelson? How are you? I am. It's good. Everything is good? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm meeting my and the family. It's all good. Repeat. It's all good. Okay. You're ready for this? Uh-huh. It's all good. You remember? <laughs> it's all good. You're it's all for this. That's what the song said. It's all good. Okay. I can't remember who sang that song. I, I was, I think it's not naughty by nature. Naughty by nature. Just like the other one, like you got you done with all BP. Yeah, you know me. You done with all BP. Yeah, you know me. Who's done with all BP? You got it? No, teacher, I don't you don't remember. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> Do I have to talk to you about control machete, maybe, or <laughs> me comprendes, Mendes? <laughs> and, well, and for me, it's, uh, I like the is it the kind of kind of music, but it's that kind of music. What yeah. kind? What kind of music do you listen to, or did you listen to when you were my? I don't know, John. Well, in, in the in, in different in in some and it, it depend depend my fear. Yes, it depends uh, on your mood. Your mood in my, my mood. mood. It's up to my mood. Mm. Yes, but but in, in, in for moment I, I saw music class. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, but uh, I, guess, I guess you like classic music, like I don't know, Journey or Boston, Chicago. Yes, in the Chicago is in English is is good, very good. Awesome. Yes. What was it? Oh, the Eagles, the Eagles. Greetings. Greetings. Hey, it's good. Have There's... you ever seen the rain? <laughs> Give me a. Tell me another song. Another Creedence song. Um, I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the, my, the, the thing is that my song like to, to sing this this one. That that song. That song. Okay. But I, I don't remember another name. Me but, neither. <laughs> yeah, but it is it is it is good. There, there there was a band, um what was the name of this guys? They sang a song of uh a woman on a on a black dress and that's the name of the song um, the hollies the hollies hollies mm -hmm. the road the road is long with the many winding turns he's my brother that's the, the most famous song of this that that band Long cool, it's the name of the song that I'm telling you is Long Cool Woman in a Black Dress. Long, long, cool, cool woman with in a black dress. Long cool woman in a black dress. She was a long cool woman in a black dress. Amazing guitar. Yes, yes. It's a good. Yeah. Okay, and that's music to cheer you up, you know, and energizing music. That that's something that you need in your life. Uh, in, in my época, teacher, what is saying? How do you say in my época, everybody? How do you say in my época? And I taught you this. I taught you how to say in my época. Mm -hmm. En mis tiempos. Memo. Uh, in, Let's see. In, in what time? <laughs> back. Here. Back. Time. Back. Back, back, but I don't time. Care. back. Oh, you cannot see it because <laughs> of the. It's wide and you won't see it. I hate that. Oh no, you won't see the calendar. Well, think about a calendar. <laughs> uh huh. Back in the days. Oh, back in the day. 
Back in the um, days, teacher. Uh -huh. I like uh, the mu music uh, electronic. Electronic music. Yeah. This is come on. It's not so horrible because our night. This is my music. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, yeah. You know what? I think we go by age because there was a around 10 year old, 12 year old Rafael was listening to to Unlimited. Uh, to, me, yes. to Unlimited and um Ace of Base. Ah, excellent. This is my work at the favorite. <laughs> That's your favorite kind of music? Yeah. Now don't say no. Don't say no, Nelson. But did you listen to Calo? Yeah. Calo? In Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Man, I, one of these days we were driving on the car, the whole family, and a Calo song played on the on the radio, right? And I left it. And I, I saw my kid's reaction. <laughs> that, what, what, what is that? <laughs> And my oldest son is very funny. He started, oh my God, my brain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Man, it's like listening to Algodón with my kids. They go like, mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can stop laughing. Don't, don't lie to me. You like the bookies. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Eso. <laughs> And Kenya and Gabriela, look at Gabriela's face. She's like, what? what are these people talking about, right? <laughs> really, Gabriela? Jose Lora? Yeah, I know who he is, but I don't like. You don't like that music? <laughs> the music, no. Do, do you Jose hide? La colección. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, no, but wait, La Colección was good. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Marito Rivera. Oh, oh no, yes. Marito yeah. Marito Rivera is another level. The guy yeah. plays the piano. I went to I went to a party. Ooh, a long time ago. Yeah. With Fiebre Maria. <laughs> yeah. My graduation. Uh, Your graduation? My, yeah, my graduation high school was So you're with, from your prom yes, party. Yeah. My prom party was with Fiebre Maria. What? Really? <laughs> I remember at a cold center. <laughs> Kenya at a cold center in 2007, I think. But for the Christmas party, they brought this guy, uh, Kimflip. They brought Kimflip. And it was a, in a hotel. In a hotel. Actually, it was the Hotel International. What is it? Intercontinental, right? And man, all the guys were like, come on, dude. And all the girls were like, oh my God. Uh, no, <laughs> I felt like nowadays, but bad bunny, right? Oh my god! But these are just stages that we go through, like Sepillin stage, for example. And I'm not talking about the president. No, no. Okay, let's start. <laughs> let's do the attendance. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm sorry, but he looks like he's very alike. <laughs> I remember. I loved Cepillín. I think I told you. Creo que les conté que tuve un episodio. Yo borré cassette de los siete para atrás, súper rápido. Iba para el puerto. Cuando estudiaba en la universidad me tocaba viajar en el bus, en la 102. Y iba en el, en el bus. Y... No, estoy mintiendo. Iba en el carro. A veces viajaba en el bus. Iba en el carro escuchando un disco que le compré a mi hijo para cuando cumplió un año. De Cepillín. Y me pasó lo del efecto mariposa. No es para acá. Un dolor de cabeza en medio de la cabeza. Y vi a mi mamá sin zapatos pegándole una piñata. Then I ask her, I call her, right? And, hey, did that happen? Uh, you know, at the house where we used to live in Sacamín. And she was like, yeah, that happened. That was me hitting the piñata for one of your birthdays. And the song of Cepin was playing on the background. So I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> That was really painful. When I when I get some memories of my seven years and back, it's painful. You know, I don't know why my head aches really bad. Okay, so that's me. Let's start the class. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Awesome. 
Adriana Estefani Martínez Flores. Mm, there she is. Present. Ana... <laughs> Thank you. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Excellent. Edwin Al Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Thank you. Traten de encender su cámara, por favor. Estamos haciendo auditorías de Insafor recientemente. So, please. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Excellent. Gloria Elisa Belinares Galdames. Here. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Kenia Michelle Lara Sayas. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Oh, Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Thank you. Before I forget, please stay 10 minutes with me after the class, okay? Okay. Thank you, Pamela. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Good evening, present. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Excellent. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Not here today, okay. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Mm -hmm. Not here today. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Yes, teacher. And, and Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay, guys, let's go straight to the point. Last night we started something. We didn't start the fire. I'm sorry, I'm very hyper, guys. Uh, it's just that my father came to visit from Santa Ana with my little brother. They just arrived right now. I just started the class and they just came in. I don't know. So let's see. We had the first group yesterday. Ada, Adriana, Kenya, Wilfredo talked about the first two bullet points of yesterday's topic, how to launch a corporate social responsibility program. So they talk to us about define what is corporate social responsibility and understanding the benefits um, to the organization. Those points one and two. So now we have get executive buy-in for the program. And number four, establish the baseline for your CSR program. Let's see, group number two is composed by Anaselmi Chévez. Carla Vázquez, Nelson Edgardo, and Sandra Gladys, and they are all here. Woo! <laughs> Excellent, okay. guys. Okay, so all yours. Go ahead. Are you ready? We are ready. Okay. My college is ready. My classmates ready? Yeah. They go? Yeah. Okay. I start. And a topic number three, number three, get executive by in for the program i i think the corporate uh, uh, series corporate social responsibility is voluntary i remember option of company whose purpose to is to uh, for fulfill social function and re, respect so for respect also respect for why and assuming an activity committee to improve society where well, i think the person presenting the projects must be a specialist a person who can demonstrator and combines the company to be able to approve this program and what benefits and will bring uh, in general uh, you must work as a team assigner responsible to achieve uh, the uh, objective set uh -huh, objective set but with few people Assign uh, people is a quite difficult to achieve the goal, uh, and uh, uh, and the parable majorly say there is a lot of do and do many resolve. 
and the other 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 word or for example or see up here to move forward and the resort i need that's sad i think the person presenting the project must be a specialty and is for the fear paraphor in the second paraphor there is a lot of do there is a lot of do and not not a lot of resource or see you helps help me moving thing along and get resource i need from rest of the team we were both very connected in a pass passionate passionate passion about what we were trying to build with inspires other members of the team to get involved in the club. Is this is our in my wait wait wait, wait. it's it's all it's our no. it's all <laughs> no <laughs> is that <laughs> that that's it excellent that's it that's it that's it that's it or okay. and that's about it repeat Thank Nelson you. that's about it that's about it good Thank you. okay teacher good evening <clears throat> Uh, and topping three groups, we groups, and in my in paragraph four, um, three uh, dimension, uh, Michael uh, Gatsen, CEO of Osgui Alt. Our team says creates a balance about consumers and, and business models. This I create new future for the tomorrow. I have a better I have a better uh, day. In, in new words, words uh, for this, uh, want to empower people to make positive impacts. In, in paragraph four, four in, in, in dimension is a very important having, having support the CEO and leadership the program for corporate and social responsibility and dimension to this is in the case other company and when it's a priority for the ceo is necessary create a leadership can be that champion uh, the paragraph mentioned uh, uh, we need uh, we need uh, create necessary corporate social responsibility for the uh, for the better uh, uh, country for the better uh, person. Uh, uh, balance uh, about in the commerce in the city. Yes, teacher, and our group, uh, we have the, the steps number three and number four. In summary, the number three, uh, for all project, for all execution of the project, it's very important to involve the high 
level administration. Uh, for example, CEO or COO or CFO is very important because um, the imagine for the rest of the employees is ah the this member um, this member is uh, involved for the successful the program is very important to involve uh, them and in in the step number four the advice um, according to the majority's majority command is related to that the all uh, all corporate social responsibility programs requires a specific uh, baseline baseline this is very important because um, is the um, focus focus uh, what is the program what is the object the program uh, this program uh, must um, must be included in a strategic plan for the core for the company it's not only ah uh, it's good in uh, the the all activity related rela uh, related to the 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 social the social responsibility but it's better when uh, the the program is according to the light the, the baseline because the result is um, is the uh, the results are defined for the members of the corporation um, this is part okay carlita go ahead please okay good evening um okay the subject of majority is that when you want to create a thing of CSR is very important to have clear the objective and vision that do you do it is too important account with support of CEO of the company because with he uh, you you to prepare the prepare the the project or a strategic plan and also to uh, give support and others projects uh, as volunteer we will do it if someone of the team were really passionate about a certain cause we will raise money inclusive but it's very important to work in, in the strategic platform for your project. So the important is we having clear our objective when we take a decision as we, as we have a program of CSR. Um, for you for you take a better result. That's it, teacher. Excellent. That's it, right? Yeah. Good job. Hold on one second. It's important. What matters is to them. Bien, voy a hacer algo. Se lo voy a decir en español porque quiero que todos lo agarren ahorita. Vamos a empezar a aplicar eso de nuevo. Yo les voy a dar feedback ahorita en general de palabras que vamos a mejorar la pronunciación así. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? El cerebro humano es bien fácil de engañar, entonces lo único que necesitas es repetir, 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 repetir algo hasta que se te quede grabado. ¿Sí? 
Entonces, número uno, mañana, dedícale un tiempito a esto o el fin de semana y recordate, el jueves tu exposición. Si tenés un planner como el que intenté enseñarles ahorita, pues ahí apuntas, ¿no? Eh, sábado, ver video del jueves, específicamente la parte en la que hablé. Y luego ver el feedback del teacher, porque ahorita voy a ir nombrando su nombre y de una sola vez la pronunciación de las palabras o oraciones que pudieron haber sido dichas de otra manera. So, let me just a minute, but matters is to have a clear objective. Y se lo voy a enviar igual, ¿verdad? Aquí por el chat. Ok, for you to get a better to get hmm. there you go bien so let's see number one nelson <clears throat> just pay attention and then you watch the video again and you yeah, watch this part so nelson you say respectful respectful respect no don't, don't worry no. don't repeat right now This is recorded, right? Eso está grabado. So, después lo pueden volver a ver cuantas veces sea necesario. Y va, repite, repite, repite hasta que se quede. ¿Tiene sentido? Yeah. yeah right. Okay. Good. So, I'm just going to mute you. Listen again. So, Nelson, respectful. Respectful. Number two. Specialized. 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 Paragraph, paragraph, resources, resources, passionate, passionate, the phrase which inspires, which inspires, okay, and lastly, involve, involve involve there you go okay sandra she said better 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 positive 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 again paragraph paragraph And guys, everybody, CSR stands for Corporate Social Responsibility. Corporate Social Responsibility. Corporate Social Responsibility. CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility. Ana Selmi, the high level of administration. The high level of administration. This, you can say, Upper management. I'm going to write it here. Upper management. This is the alta gerencia. Upper management. In business, we call it upper management. The imagine for the employees, we say what employees perceive, what employees perceive, or the image, what you were trying to say is how employees see the boss, how employees see me, right? So the image, no. Mm -hmm. What we show, right, to them, what they see in us, what employees perceive, the word require, requires, require, requires. And then you said, it's focus, What is the program is not only, is no only. Mm. Okay, so it focuses on what the program is about. It focuses, third person, that's my mistake. It focuses, third person, it focuses on what the program is about. And is no only, mm. you say it's, Listen, not only, not only, not only. It's not only, it's not only. Remember the, the rule of the vowel, the T in the middle, right? So not only, it's not only. It's not only, not, 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 not only. 
Carla. That's a name. Okay, it's not Mayoris, it's Mallory. Mallory. It's a name. Mallory. Mallory's with the apostrophe S, right? You too prepare the project. You also prepare the project. Remember this um this connector goes at the end of the sentence. Okay, this um preposition goes at the end of the sentence. You prepare the project too. You prepare the project too. You also prepare the project. Hey, everybody, you don't say certain, be careful, or certain. You say certain, sir, sir, mm, mm, mm. here, certain, certain, court, mm. mountain, okay? Certain, 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 difficult, that's difficult. The important is we have a clear objective Mm, instead, for you, uh, okay, so, hold on. Voy a repetir toda la oración que decía su compañero. Okay, so Carla decía, Carla said, the important is we have a clear objective for you take a better result. I think she meant, I think Carla meant, what matters is to have a clear objective for you to get better results. Again, what matters is to have a clear objective for you to get better results. Okay, so, regreso al video. Pongo mucha atención a lo que yo dije, okay, a lo que tú dijiste. Okay, tú, digamos, Carlita está viendo el video y dice, uh -huh. pone mucha atención en lo que dijo. Luego se mueve a esta parte del feedback. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, sí, dije esto de esta manera. Puede estar saltando entre, entre el feedback y volver, ¿no? Es muy importante que ustedes se critiquen a ustedes mismos, porque solo así van a aceptar sus áreas de oportunidad, que es bien difícil. And honestly, es bien difícil corregirlas, pero el primer paso es aceptar. Es como un ebrio. Primero tiene que aceptar que está borracho, si no, no. Right? Si no va a conducir. Ok. Good, guys. Good, good. Este, este es en teoría es mi método un poco de lo que se viene 2023, primero Dios, si Dios lo permite Vea, so, veamos si funciona ok, it's based on repetition, repetition memorization, pero sin sin estresarse, ojo con esto eh. ojo con esto, no se estresen si una, ah, una cosa más recuerden marcar dónde está el estrés de la palabra por ejemplo a Nelson le decía respectful entonces agarra Nelson, escribe respectful y le pone el voladito ahí. La señita, respectful. Y ya se logró. Ok. So, no se estresen. No me sale, no me sale. No, don't worry. It's ok, you're learning. Ok, group number three. Group number three. There were just three groups. Last group was Wendy, Gabriela, Gloria, and Rosalena. Gloria. I mean, um, Wendy is on disability, right? Wendita, how are you tonight? Hello, Coloch. There's a Coloch among us. Among us. Among us. Hello. I forgot her name or his name. I can remember it when is it a girl? Or... Gen Genesis. 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 Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Ugly beautiful, guy. The curly. Oh, linda. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. hair. Uh, yeah, oh, <laughs> so you you are you're curly. If you cut if you yeah. don't cut your hair, you're curly. Oh my god, uh, is is the same as her. It's <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, guys, let's see <laughs> who's next. So we have Gabriela, Gloria, and Rosalena because uh, Wendy is disabled. Still, I think so. One, two, three, action. Okay, we are the group number three, and we are going to talk uh, about. Uh, in my case, I'm going to I'm going to try try to explain the number five. Um, explore unique 
opportunities relevant to your mission. First of all, I was reading all the all the document and I need to understand more. And I read about the company. Well, well, simple. And the company is an investing investing company. It was amazing. It was it was very nice. All the things that I read about this company. I'm talking about the the case that you send us. Okay. Uh, okay. The point number five: explore unique opportunities relevant to your mission. Okay. And uh, one way to identify opportunities for your company's CSRs programs is to start with your company's missions. Okay. In that case, well, Simple's missions is made is make financial service accessible to ev to everyone, regardless of age. I understand that um, the mission of that company is made the financial service accessible for everyone, independently of the age. In that case, uh, the mission is more specific. They need to help 2 million of children in Canada who doesn't have access to education. Uh, okay, helping 2 million children in Canada who don't have access to education savings. Imagine help 2 million of children that, that they don't have access is is a it's an amazing program for me um okay what else um, um okay uh, i was reading that the the mission of that company or the um, the the greatest barrier uh, the greatest barrier is not the education uh, the way the the greatest barrier for that company is the finance. It's finance. It's finance. Yes, it's finance. Okay, and in another, in the other, uh, okay. Um, let me see what I what I write here. I don't understand. Um, okay, the well samples program is is in its foundational years. And Mallory, you mentioned Mallory. Mallory plans to start with local opportunities. Then they plan to uh, be global. And another thing, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Oh, they mentioned that the that the barriers of the education, uh, the big, no, okay. They mentioned that the, the, bar, the barriers to education are universal and they don't have, uh, um, okay, uh, it's about, it's about making a school a reality for millions of people who traditionally haven't had that access. That access is the access to the education uh, to the children. I think that the, the mission for that company is, is great, is good, and Oh my God, I don't know. I was, I was moving to another, to another, what do you say, stage. I was moving to another stage, but I decided I uh, stayed here because after reading and reading and reading, I, I tried to understand, but it's the, the things that I, that I, no, I understand, body. yeah, the, it's, that's, that's it, that, that I understand about it. 
Gabriela is going to. Is that's going to what spray. I. That's what I understood. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I thought I was on mute. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. keep going. Okay. Great job. <laughs> Gabriela is going to explain the point number six. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, the point number six talk about the how to measure the success of CSR. Uh, I think you are in mute, Gabi. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, point number six: How to measure the success of CSR. Uh, I think that make sure the social impact uh, it's important for different reasons. Uh, for example, uh, establish the the if the success of the eff effectiveness of program. It's so important to sorry. It's so important to uh, uh, check. Security continued with the programs, uh, track the record of uh, success of the project can help to to spread, uh, get to spread or, or share good ideas that allow the positive change to impact uh, more areas or more uh, life, for example. And but it's also important identify the initiatives or the product the the projects that are not performing uh, well, so companies can change and improve uh, the projects, and in this way ensure that the resource resource that we have have the correct. A social and positive impact. Uh, the text uh, talk about uh, that we can have two different uh, results. They can be tangible and intangible un results. Uh, tangible, for example, uh, well, it, it depends on the project, but one example can be who, uh, how many trees we plant, how many uh, house we, we build. Uh, the, the paragraph say that it will be uh, the, depending on the program. So uh, we, uh, the companies can establish metrics to have every other uh, department in the organization do and but in the other hand we can also have a uh, intangible results for example uh, um, we uh, the companies can uh, have the the measures of the how the employees feel when he um, participate in this type of activity. And I think there is important know the opinions of the employees because uh, in this way, I think that employees can be feel more uh, engagement with the um, cultural of the company. Um, only that. <laughs> Are we missing anybody? No, okay. Anybody else is missing, guys? Okay. No? Okay. 
So let's see. Uh, oh my God. Wait, just Rosalina and Gabriela spoke, right? Yes, Gloria was in a group, but yesterday she was absent. Oh, it's uh, yeah, she was working. It's true, it's true. Yes. Uh -huh. and Wendy oh, yeah, is, and Wendy is uh, yes. on disability yes. too. Yeah, 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 yeah. She can speak. Yeah, she, oh, uh, yeah, I remember she said present at the end of the class. Yes. She was like, present. <laughs> yes. I don't need um, but uh, my irresponsibility. No, you were working, <laughs> I think. Okay. It's okay, don't worry, don't worry. Okay. Como he dicho tantas veces, no se preocupen. Todos somos adultos. Tenemos que trabajar. Si no, no comemos. True. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, let's go with the feedback. Again, watch the video again. Go back and forth. Back and forth. Check yourself. So, yourselves. Look at me. Hasta yo hago cometo errores. Eso no, no se preocupen por eso. El punto es irlo corrigiendo. No somos tercos. Yo soy un gran terco. Me ha costado crearme algunas cosas en mi vida. So let's see. Roselena. <clears throat> Great job. You said, first of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, first of all. Number two. I read. I read. This is our main area of opportunity right now verbs in the past. I read somewhere, two million of children. And you corrected yourself. You corrected yourself and you said, no, two million children. Okay, that off, mm -mm, that doesn't go there. Two million children. Let me see what I write. Again, let me see what I wrote. Let me see what I wrote, 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 wrote. They don't have, you said it, they don't have. Everybody try to say, they don't have, they don't have. Quien hace esto mucho es Edwin. Y esta es una área que quiero que, que abordemos, Roselena, porque ese es su siguiente nivel. Ya borrar el don't, ok? Y decir wrong, wrong, wrong. They don't have. So practice T they plus don't have. D. They don't have. They don't have. They don't have. Yeah, right? Right? Yes. Sounds better. Okay, they don't have, they don't have. Yes. Okay. Um, Gabriela, I think that make sure I think that make sure, I think that making sure of da -da 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 -da, and this is the topic we have been studying on this module verbs followed by ing verbs followed by ing so i think that making sure da, da, da. for example establish goals establishing goals okay for secure the continue of the program okay to i missed that to secure the continuation of the program remember for noun or ing to verb, okay, for noun, to verb, to secure the continuation of the program. Pronunciation, impact or impact, impact, impact. Impact, there you go. Companies can change, mm, change, change, change. Tarea de escuchar a Tracy Chapman, una canción que se llama Change. Beautiful song, change. Tracy Chapman, change. Okay. Untangible. I love the way you say tangible, tangible, good, but uh, untangible, tangible. Teacher. In the terms, in the account terms, mm -hmm. accounting, the, ter accounting terms, uh, accounting terms, mm -hmm. the opposite, the tangible is intangible. Yes, some mm -hmm. dictionaries still use in, it's untangible, intangible, untangible. It's both, you can use both. So, yeah, 
Again, tangible, untangible, pronunciation, good job. How many house? Be careful, how many houses? And this is a repetitive area of improvement, Gabby. How many houses? The paragraph say, mm -mm, the paragraph says their person. And it sounds better if you say the paragraph talks about, the paragraph talks about, da -da -da -da, they can get results of the how the employees feel of repetitive, the article, the article. So employees can be more engagement. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, hold on. They can get results of the how the employees feel uh, of participating on this kind of activity. So paraphrasing, they can get results of how the employees feel about participating on this kind of activities. And the last one, employees can be more engagement. Mm -mm. Employees can be more engaged, more engaged with the cultural, with the culture of the company, the culture of the company, not the cultural of the company, but the culture of the company. Okay. De nuevo, miren el video. Yo sé que quizá va a estar muy rápido, pero it's going to help us a lot. And this will really help you improving. So if you got the idea, look for videos. I don't, I don't know. Rachel's, Rachel's on YouTube is, is not, that's too, too high. That's too high for pronunciation. You know, I, I saw on TikTok a live of this teacher. He had, he had two, 1,600 people watching his video, his live. And all he was doing was reading a tale. He had a little a little book of um, Malefica. He was reading the tale on TikTok, but he was doing this. He didn't realize, él no se dio cuenta, but I know what was working, what was working is that everybody was like this on the screen. Just following, following his lips because he was like, eh, eh, t -t -t -t. you know, and that's like, that. that I don't know, it, people like to do that. Do you like doing that? When, you, when you're watching someone, you go like, because that's the way you learned. Spanish, right? So think about it. Good job, guys. And lastly, there was a seventh point. Stay connected with the CSR community. Um, did anybody read, read that? Did anybody read that? No? Well, so in, in resume, it's just a whole article about how to do a CSR program, what things you need to consider, and lastly, something very important, and I'm going to close this part with this. When I worked on projects, I noticed something. I'm not even going to mention names of projects because of the recording, but there's always something missing. Let's say you start the program, you know, everything is going well, you are managing. Be careful, it's not administering, no, no, no. Forget about the verb administration, no. Administering, no. Manage. When you're managing a program, you are very excited, right? You have the funds, the program is running, but then you look, everything is fine, that's great. And what about the results? What about the outcome of the program? Was it effective? For example, this course. Is it being effective? Are teachers teaching? Are students learning? So in other words, I have noticed, and this is the last bullet point number seven, keep an eye on, on your corporate social responsibility program. 
if you don't keep an eye on the results, how much money did you spend? In reality, how much money did you spend from the budget? Did you go out of the budget? Did you spend less money? Which is not good. If you spend less money than what you have on the budget, it's not good all the times. So always look for results, work um, based on, you know, work results orientated, work results orientated. Always keep that in mind, you know. What's your expectation about this course? I expect to speak English at least on an 80%, at least an 80. I expect that, so simple, so simple. I expect to maintain a conversation for five minutes. Just five minutes having a conversation nonstop about any topic. I can speak for five minutes about any topic nonstop. Then you can speak English. Got it? Uh-oh. Any ideas, thoughts? Oh my God. Sorry, guys. Okay. Ideas, thoughts. Let's close this topic. No, okay. Mucho hablo usted, teacher. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I hate speaking too much. Okay, so we're about to start um, another grammar topic, which is related to what we already started, kind of. But we saw it, and you know, roughly, we roughly saw this topic before. So we're going to do it grammatically and then we're going to give some examples and we're going to do a dynamic somehow so before that let me do the attendance it's two to nine Ada Patricia Linares Galdames present Adriana Estefani Martinez Flores present Ana Selmi Chévez present teacher okay Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo Present. Thank you. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Excellent. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Your microphone. <laughs> Your microphone. <laughs> Present, okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Kenya Michelle Lara Sayas. Present. Excellent. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez Ramirez. Present. Present. Oh, I cannot find you. Oh, I, there you are. Okay. Don't go all the way to San Francisco. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Excellent. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. Present teacher. Excellent. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Present. Yay. Welcome. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. There he is. Present. Good evening. Excellent. Thank you, Walter. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. You better? Yes, better. Awesome. Glad to hear that. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Excellent. Hey guys, guess what? Guess what? Oh my God. We are complete. Yes, we have full house. It's full Excuse house. Me, teacher. Will you repeat? We have full house. Really? Yeah, everybody's here. So say, really? say hello to somebody that you didn't know. <laughs> it was like, oh, I don't know that guy. <laughs> Who's that guy? <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Thank you, guys. We're almost done. So for, for the new ones, for the rookies, for the rookies, I'm just kidding. Um, our deadline is our deadline is Wednesday, the 23rd next wednesday we finish this module okay just keep that in mind 
don't forget to move on with the platform. That's very important. And allow me just 30 seconds, okay? I give up with the platform teacher. <laughs> yes, because I can't realize the exercise. Um, I don't remember the pa the para the paragraph. I don't remember. <laughs> when you put a comma and you divide the, the sentence. <laughs> yes, para, a comma. Parenthetic, a comma. Parenthetical, yeah. parenthetical. Oh my God, I forget. <laughs> parenthetical. Yes, phrases. parenthetical. Something. Yes, I gave yes. up. Yes. I gave up. I, I gave, gave up. up. I gave up. I can't. <laughs> Why didn't you you guys text me or something? I don't know. <laughs> you should you should have texted me and, and tell me, hey teacher, you know what? I, I cannot do this exercise. So we could see it together. But at least you practiced. Yes. <laughs> Remember, I, I... you you can fail many times. It's okay. As long as you get it. But Imagine at the first day, <laughs> I don't know, but it, we do it. We, did, we it. did it. We did it in class, but I, I didn't take notes. Watch the video. Ah, really? Yeah. Um, I see yeah. the video picture. I saw the video. <laughs> okay, really? I'm going to show the video. Yes. <laughs> and what happened, Sandra? That didn't help? Bad exercise. Iron, iron one. Uh, mm -hmm. um, that uh, was a section, section one, I think, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, sentencing one. Paratica. Paratica. And only that two. Exercise uh, comma. You need two. The exercise with comma. Yes. A cultural diverse workforce, comma, opposite to its counterpart, comma, better understands the various markets. The only advice I can give you is to read without, you know, excluding something. In that example, a culturally diverse workforce better understands diverse markets. Ah, super rápido. Si ustedes, eh, ahí la dificultad quizás que podrían haber encontrado es definir, veamos esto rápido. Y eso se lo dije en el video, si mal no recuerdo. Definir cuál es mi sujeto dentro de la oración. Ojo, eh. Just a minute. Take this off the way. So. What is this? Okay. Uh, I think you can see the screen. Yeah. So, uh, definir cuál es el sujeto. Define what's the subject here in this sentence? A culturally diverse. Can you see? Yes. Okay, like that. So, a culturally diverse workforce opposite to its counterpart better understands diverse markets. So what you had on the example was this, without the commas. Now I ask you, please tell me, what is the subject, um, Rosalena and Sandra, what is the subject on this sentence? What is the first person? The workforce. The workforce? The subject. What is the subject? A culture. The best. Okay, continue, Sandra. A culturally diverse. The best. Mm. Purpose. Opposite to. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. That's no. not the subject. Okay, let's see somebody else. Anna, send me. What is the subject of this sentence? A culturally diverse. A culturally, uh, Susana, okay. A culturally diverse. Workforce. Yes. Opposite. Okay, as far <laughs> as that. 
¿Saben qué? Vamos a abordar esto súper rápido. Toda oración empieza con un sujeto. Acuérdense de eso. Y después de un sujeto viene la acción. Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces, opposite será un sujeto. No, es el verbo. No. No. Opuesto. No. No. Ah, es a preposition. Uh -huh. This is a preposition too. Okay. No es de posit, no es de, es en in, in Spanish teacher. Opuestamente. Opuestamente, uh -huh. ah. Ah, ok. Si, if it was a posit, preposition. A positively, a positively. Así tendría que ser opuestamente. Ajá, uh -huh. okay. ok, so, vamos de nuevo. ¿Por qué he reescribido veces la oración? Porque quiero hacer esto. ¿Cómo puedo reemplazar esto? A culturally diverse workforce. ¿Con qué sujeto del I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they podemos reemplazar este sujeto? It. It. You got it. Muy bien. Busquemos el verbo ahora porque dice el presente simple, que esto está en presente simple, que después del sujeto viene el verbo. It is. But the verb is understand. Oh, very good. Ahí está. Entonces, todo esto is subject. no es, o sea, necesario. Y de eso trata no ese necessary. ejercicio. A ver, it understands diverse And markets. This part requires the, the period. You got it. It requires the coma. Esta coma. parte que no necesito en mi enunciado porque está de más es a la que le voy a poner las comas. ¿Por qué? Porque si hablo de, ojo, eh, todo lo que se dice en inglés se califica antes. ¿Cuál es el nombre? Más fácil ahora, vaya. Eh, ¿Será que la A está calificando cult culturally? Que, que de hecho es un adverbio, no es. A ver, adverbios califican también a los adverbios, adjetivos, adverbios. Ajá. No, es un adverbio, esto es un adverbio. A ver, y esto era base, ¿eh? Básico 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Esto es un artículo, luego tengo El un artículo. adverbio, ¿ok? Tengo un adjetivo. Y después, ¿esto qué será entonces? A noun. A noun. Excelente. Entonces, un noun puede estar calificado, puede ser diverso, puede ser un, eh, una fuerza laboral culturalmente, y ya lo leí mal, una fuerza laboral culturalmente, culturalmente diversa. Diversa. Repito. Una Diferente, ¿no? Fuerza laboral <risa> diferente ya me equivoqué no, but in, in, in Zoom, a la serie, refer... permítame es que quiero, quiero que todos aterricen esto y ya noté que muchos se han quedado como o sea estamos en avanzado pero no se les olvide practicar lo básico recordar lo básico ¿qué hago? y esto no es solamente en el inglés esto es en la vida ¿sí? no porque ya manejo un carro estándar no porque manejo un carro automático, no voy a tomar de nuevo un estándar, ya no me gustó y ya se me olvidó. No. The structure of the sentence is not easy, teacher. It's not easy <laughs> si no logro esto, que es el punto. A ver, el artículo. Una, ¿a qué califica el artículo? Fuerza culturalmente diversa. Una fuerza de trabajo culturalmente diversa. Ok. Opuesta a... Esto no es iris. Su contraparte. No es it's de su de eso. Acuérdense de eso. Es un. ¿Qué es? Un adjetivo posesivo, ¿verdad? Su sí. contraparte. Más mejor. No, ¿verdad? Mejor. Mejor. Comprende. Entiende. O entiende. Ajá. Mercados, mercados diversos. Diversos. Mercados diversos. Ahora, entonces. Volviendo al ejemplo. Todo esto ya lo identifique como que es el sujeto. Aquí pueden haber miles de artículos, así se los digo, miles de artículos, no, no artículos, perdón, miles de adjetivos y, ¿qué dije? Adverbios. 
y adverbios. Gracias. Miles de adverbios y adjetivos calificando el nombre. ¿Ok? Ya les voy a enviar un cuadrito al, al chat para que entiendan eso. Y no se alarmen. ¿eh? Esto es normal y así hablamos en español también. Entonces, el punto es entender eso. Que todo este es mi sujeto. Y que lo, lo voy a reemplazar mentalmente. Este ejercicio debió haber sido, debió ser, Dios mío, debió haber sido, debió ser entendido en el básico. La capacidad mental de reemplazar rápido en tu mente esto por esto. Número dos, entender si esto es presente simple. ¿Cómo lo sé? Ah, porque el verbo dice no es en tercera persona. Uh -huh. ya, entonces, pero y, a ver, entonces continúo con mi ejercicio. Opposite, opuesto, yo opuesto, tú opuesta, no. Yo uh -huh. opuestamente, tú opuestamente, no, esto no es un verbo, vaya. El tú ya sé que es una preposición, todos lo sabemos. It's decía el teacher que es una... It's un yours, pronombre posesivo. Your, you know, o sea, me estoy poniendo sus zapatos ahorita. My, his, hers. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's nombre. Esto es un adjetivo posesivo. Ok. Counterpart. Contraparte. Este es otro nombre, pero después del sujeto, no puede ir entonces nada de eso. Ah, vaya, ok. Y mejor. No, tampoco puedo decir it better. Bueno, sí, también se puede. It better understands diverse markets. Eso mejor o oh, ajá, esto. Ya, entonces el punto es entender esa estructura. Sujeto, verbo, complemento. Y todo eso entonces está. ¿Cuál sería la palabra adecuada? Está contribuyendo. It's, está agregando. Está clarificando. ¿Qué es lo que decía el texto de su libro? información. It's giving more information. Is giving yeah. more information. That's sujeto, it. Verbo, dicho, sujeto, verbo, dicho, complemento. Correcto. Esa es la, la base del presente simple. Acuérdense de esto. Subject, verb. verb. Oops, oops, oops. Sorry. Subject, verb, complement. Last complement. Y ahí, subject, auxiliary, que era duo, das, ¿verdad? Last verb, last complement. Y esto era lo básico. Entonces, regreso a lo básico, que no me dé pena. Si yo voy a agarrar un cuaderno en blanco, me voy a poner a hacer todo esto. Auxiliary, it's never too late. Así de simple. Para hacer una pregunta, entonces. Auxiliary. In my case, or... teacher, yes, I, I have identified mm -hmm. my problem is when I translate The sentence I translate um, wrong. Mm -hmm. And when I need to to location the comma. I need to locate for me. Locate locate the commas mm -hmm. is complicated for me in that in, in specific this exercise. On this specific, on this specific exercise. Yep. I understand. Ahora, recuerden que las barreras se las pone a uno. Y eso sí es cierto. Entre más mayores estamos, es peor. Pero es que la, la, estas oraciones son medio enredadas, teacher, que es más fácil. Lo mismo decirlo de otra forma. Vaya, pero así como se los he explicado... ¿Quedó más claro? Yeah, 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 teacher. Y aquí es donde yo yeah. estoy a favor de la idea de explicar la gramática por primera vez en español. No importa el nivel en el que estés. Si es algo nuevo, Spanish. Ahora, ¿será que está mal que un estudiante de avanzado 2 le diga al teacher, teacher, I'm sorry if I have to talk to you in Spanish, but no le entendí ni jota. ¿Puede explicar en español, por favor? ¿Por qué no? ¿Cuál es el miedo? ¿Cuál es la pena? Ya somos adultos. ¿Saben que a mí me da risa mis hijos? Porque son capaces de hacer eso. Y se lo dicen a la profesora. Ahorita están en, en clases de arte los dos. Y dos de ellos. Y uh, en el cenar. Dicen, no, 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 no. Permítame. Con mucho respeto, pero no le entiendo, señor. Why not? So. Starting up with the new topic. If you want to understand that, just watch the video again. 
tonight we have to talk about verbs that could be followed by gerunds or infinitives with a change in the meaning. So th these examples that we're about to see, definitely, you know, things may change. So let's start talking about them one by one. And I'll just give you the explanation really quick again. Esto sí lo hice en español antes. So, verbs change their meaning when they are followed by a gerund or an infinitive. Can you see the screen? Can you read the letters? Yes? Yeah. Yes. So we're gonna go with a few examples. Some verbs have different meanings when they are followed by a gerund or an infinitive. So let's go with forget. As a gerund, forget looks back in the past. Okay. Forget looks back in the past. How come? Como así, how come? Eso sería que alguien me lo dijera alguna vez. Teacher, teacher, how come? Como así. Okay. <laughs> okay. Looks back in the past. Listen, he will never, that's future teacher. Yeah, he will never forget spending so much money on his first computer. He will never forget spending so much money. Question, is this action happening right now in the past or in the future? In the past. Because <laughs> the Porsche was in the past, yes. <laughs> It's difficult because it's in the future. Sentence is in the future. But because the wait, wait, Susana, give me teacher, just, a, just a is second. the present plus one perfecto in Spanish. Oh, oh my god, you got future, it because yeah. you you use in the first uh -huh. because the translation is not el nunca or el nunca olvidará mm -hmm. el. Eh, bueno, haber gastado gastó? mucho dinero en, en, en su primera gastado. computadora cuando compró Exacto. su primera computadora. Exactly. Now, normally you will have used the past perfect, you know, if it was the opposite, translating from Spanish to English, most likely you will have used the, the, the simple, I mean, the past perfect. Por ese, el, el nunca olvidará. No, no, no. Haber gastado. Oh. Right? Oh, my God. You go like, what? Now, let's see. Él, nu él nunca olvidará. Él olvidará, se lo da el Will. Okay. Él nunca olvidará gastando tanto dinero en su primera computer computadora. Él nunca olvidará gastando. Eso no es en bien. Y lo que acaba de ser no es Él nunca olvidará. Haber gastado tanto dinero. O sea, el punto es, si yo estoy así, si me encuentro como lo acabo de hacer yo, poniéndome sus zapatos, y dije, él nunca olvidará gastando tanto dinero, ¿será que así va? Entonces, es de reflexionar y pensar, ¿de qué otra manera lo puedo decir? Ahí es donde viene el ejercicio aquel de, ¿se acuerdan que les digo? Van en el carro, vayan pensando, en español no le hace. ¿Cómo puedo decir esto de otra manera? ¿Cómo lo conjugo? Ah, ok. A ver, gasta. Ok. Very good. So, he will never forget spending so much money on his first computer. It's a figure. It was quite perfecto, as Wendy said. Ok. It sounds like that. Yeah. Now, using an infinitive, the same verb, forget. Ok. Forget, again. Looks into the future. Not the past anymore. Don't forget to spend money on the tickets. Don't forget 
to spend money on the tickets? Has the action occurred? Is it happening right now? No. No. Will it happen? When? It's a reflection, yes, yeah. teacher. It's not a reflection. Maybe it's, it's, a, rega I... it's a regaño. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Like oh, maybe if maybe if I will if I leave home, my yeah. daughter don't forget spend money on the on tickets. tickets. Yeah, make sure you don't forget. Right, that's in the future. It will happen. You know the person. You know he or she is going to forget. So you warn that person. You give it. You give that person a warning. That's what it is. Maybe, a, uh -huh, maybe don't forget to buy the newspaper. You got it. Uh -huh. yeah. It's a warning. Very good. In this case. And this is a supposition. Because you're supposing. Supposition. It's a supposition. So can you correct me, please? Double S or just one S, dyslexia. Double P. Yeah, double P, supposition. Okay, supposition. It's a supposition and the other one is a warning. Okay, give me examples. Try to mimic, try to mimic the, the structure. Number one is in the future. I mean, number one is looking at the past. Think about it one day. Okay. Missing creativity, les falta creatividad? No. <laughs> I'll never forget dancing in my from day, day. <laughs> With Julio. Ah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> With my you endless know what? Slow. <laughs> I, I never, for, I, I can remember her name. I can remember her name, but she was very nice. She, she was able to dance with me. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's a good example. How do you translate this sentence, everybody? Um, sé que lamentaré esto un día. Sé que lamentaré esto un día. Momento, no estoy ocupando la regla. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm not using forget, and I must use forget and an ing, which is the whole point, right? Yeah. Bad teacher, bad teacher. Let's see. What I was telling you is, sé que nunca olvidaré. Sé que no, no, ya se me olvidó. Sé que un día le mentiré esto. I know. Oh. Uh, Regret this one day. Will I will teach it someday? Okay. Someday. Hello. Yes. Will. 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 Okay. Okay. I will. Okay. Yeah. I know. I'll regret this someday. <laughs> Teacher, is that it's not necessary. Yeah. This. I know that I regret this someday. That is not necessary. I know that I'll, I know I'll, I know. no, it's not necessary. But you can use it, but yeah, I know. Right, I'll use. Yeah, you can even omit the, I know, you know, I'll mm -hmm. regret this, I'll regret this someday. I'll, I'll regret this someday. Okay, thank you, teacher. Oh, you know what? If you want to use ING, you can use doing. I know I'll regret doing this someday. I know I'll regret doing this someday. Let's use the example. Let's just forget. Anybody? Okay. 
el guay, guay. <laughs> She still remembers Julio, okay. Uh -huh. why, why? Why do you regret and forget? What is uh, it? Uh, is that yeah, regret is uh, lamentar, ah, right? Okay, uh huh. Okay, and forget okay. is olvidar. So I know she'll forget kissing me at the prom. Second. <laughs> <laughs> but no, <laughs> you still remember, right? Okay. Uh huh. Next, give me examples, guys. Come on. Let's try the second part, infinitive. Forget, forget. Look into the future. Can I say, don't forget to pick up? Yeah. Okay. Don't forget to pick out the children at school. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay. Don't forget to pick up the children at school. Don't forget picking up the children at school sounds weird. Don't forget picking up the children at school. And that doesn't change the meaning. And our objective here is to change the meaning. Mm, okay. The other, don't forget to follow my instructions. Don't forget to follow my instructions. Instructions. My instructions. 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 <laughs> don't forget to follow my instructions. My instructions. Teacher, mm -hmm. I don't want to forget what they teach in the class. I don't want to forget the teacher what and the, the teach what the teacher said. The class. Okay, what the teacher said in the class. Ajá, lo que el teacher dijo. Ajá, porque what the teacher in the class. Falta el verbo ahí. Ajá. What I, teach, teacher? What the teacher taught. Thought. Could be. Yes. Thought. I don't want to forget what the teacher. How do you how do you use the enseñar? In the class. Enseñar. Yeah, remember, remember it. Enseñar is teach. Oh, sorry, it's lecture. Teach. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the past is somebody? Oh. Dot. Taught. Taught. T O T. Teacher. Uh, yeah, perfect. You taught. got it. Taught. Taught. Okay. Uh huh. What the teacher taught. What if I add this? Um, Anna Selmi, can you pronounce it? What the teacher taught. Microphone. Microphone. Taught us. Okay, now do it faster. Taught us. Now listen, I don't want to forget. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to forget. I don't want to forget. I don't want to forget. I don't want to forget what the teacher taught us. It's just, it sounds difficult. Taught us. Taught us. Very good. I don't want to forget what the teacher taught us in class. Lo que nos enseñó. Okay. Okay, um, so let's move to the next verb. Um, I don't know why I was remembering something that happened on the weekend. My wife started, let's watch our Majidon. I'm like, really? Yeah, there's nothing to watch. Let's watch our Majidon. I was like, okay, why? Because of the song. I want to listen to the song. I'm like, okay, let's watch our Majidon again. And so we watched our Majidon. And we realized that they never played the song in the whole movie. I could stay away. <laughs> at yes. the end, and at the end, at the end of the movie, 
<laughs> she was like, no, 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 wait, they're going to play the song now. And I was like, no, they're not going to do it. And they didn't. <laughs> that was so funny. Okay. So that was forget. I love this one. The next one is really good too. The use of go, go on, go on, a phrasal verb. Remember that phrasal verbs are made up of a verb and then, um, oh God, a verb and a preposition. Go on, go up, go down, etc. So look at the left, gerund. If you say go on and you add an ing verb, go on reading. It means to continue with something, okay? Continue with the same thing that you're doing. No, 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 go on. If I just say, go on, go on. Go on talking. Go on trying. Don't give up, just go on trying. You see? Um, as an infinitive, to change the activity. Okay, okay, let's think that we're in the physics class, you know, you're doing gymnastics at, at school, right? And go on, go on playing soccer. Okay, you continue playing soccer 15 minutes. Okay, uh, Rosalina, stop. Go on to jump the rope, go on to jump the rope, which means change to the next exercise, which is jumping the ropes, jumping ropes. You got it? Yes. yes. You just change the activity. Okay. Go, go on, go on doing exercise. <laughs> I was about to say that. Go on giving examples, uh, but I want to hear Ada, Ada Patricia. <laughs> I want to listen to Glorita, Edwin, Gabriela. Stop getting drunk in the class. Oh, no, that's water, Gabriela. Okay. So, yeah. Go on giving examples. Go on giving examples. Edwin, Adriana, Kenya, Wilfredo. Go on sleeping, Edwin. Don't worry. <laughs> Come on. Give me examples, guys. Go um, practicing your English. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Go on doing your homework. Perfect. Go on doing your homework, which means continue doing the homework. You're doing good. Very good. Next. Go, Go on, on doing... running. Running. Go on running. In the race. race go on run, yeah, perfect. Go on running in the race. Go on running in the race. You're gonna you're gonna win. Don't worry. I know it. You're awesome. Yeah, that's good. Uh, what about go on meeting with your boss? Mm hmm. Go on meeting with your boss. Yeah. Think about the context, right? Just keep in mind the context. He's already on the meeting, so, oh, no, no. I thought you were not in the meeting. Continue. Yeah, go on meeting with your boss. Okay, perfect. This is phrasal verbs, teacher. Go that home. is, yep. As I said, yeah, it is a phrasal verb. A verb plus a preposition. Wake up, stand up, go out, etc. Go on. And then ing. Let's go with go on to. Teacher, go on to study English. Maybe. Yes. So you were in the math class. Okay, go on to study English. Mom, mom, I just cleaned my room. What do I do next? Somebody? Go on to clean your room. I just cleaned the room. Uh, go on to go wash on your dishes. Go on to clean the chicken or wash the dishes. Oh my God, you're so cruel, Edwin. 
<laughs> go on to wash the dishes, go on to clean the chicken. The kitchen or the chicken? <laughs> the kitchen. <laughs> no, but don't you clean the chicken? It's possible you... the chicken can yeah, you... yes. food teacher. <laughs> yeah, you have to remove the skin, right? Okay. <laughs> Be careful with that. That happens a lot to me. Okay. Uh huh. Are we clear on this one? Go on to the next activity. Right? Yes. Okay, good. Perfect. I love your enthusiasm. You're killing me. Okay, so let's continue. Let's see. Kenya is gonna give us the next examples. Next, uh, of course, I will send this to you on your chat. Don't worry. Mean. Hmm. This is interesting. Let's see if we get it. Mean, a verb that you don't use that much. Now, STH, get used to my speech, please. STH stands for something. STH stands for something. So something, let's see, if I use a gerund, something has to be done to get a result. Something has to be done to get a result. Let's look at the example. You have forgotten your homework again. That means finding your mother. Oh, that means finding your mother. This is so cruel. That means finding your mother. Something has to be done to get a result. That's what happens. The consequence is. The consequence is, uh huh. Is da, 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 da. Exactly. But keep an eye on this the way they are using it on the example. Okay. You've got all wet. Yeah, you got all wet under the rain. Okay. Okay, I want to change that. The demonstrative pronoun that means I want to say something else. Oh, which everybody, which means you will get sick, which means almost, but look at the example, Edwin, which means you're getting sick. No, which means get, take the take the subject sick. excellent yeah. take the subject getting, off oh. which means getting sick okay. well can i can i say i have i have a two k it means going to the dance no. <laughs> you got it <laughs> exactly which means okay. that means going to the dentist okay yeah remember that you can change this you can change this one. Let me do this bigger. It's already on 36. No, I can go there. Yeah, okay. So you've got all you've got all wet under the rain, which means getting sick again. Um I have a terrible toothache. I have a terrible, a terrible toothache, which means a uh, visiting. Oh, sorry. Visiting. Which? The doctor. Visiting the dentist. I'm the sorry. The dentist. Yeah. Yes. Which is visiting the dentist. One more time. Let's make it fun. Which means visiting the dentist one more time. Something else. I mean, using this ing form after means could be means, which means more money for the doctor, more money for the dentist. <laughs> uh -huh. For example, teacher, you have for 
current your payments of your credit card. That means paying more interest. Mm -hmm. More interest. More interest. You've forgotten. You forgotten. Mm -hmm. Paying your, I'm going to use a contraction here, your credit card. Your credit card. That you means. Use, that means, uh huh. Paying more interest. How do you call, oh. Paying a late fee. A late fit. A late fee. A late fee. Fee. A late fee. Mm -hmm. Late fee, paying interests, paying um, penalty, paying. Um, penalty. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking for synonym synonyms of fee, synonyms of penalty, fee. Kenya, NLT fee, additional. Oh my God, I forgot. There's a lot of no ways fine. of this complaint. Okay, so make sense? Oh, let's look at infinitives. Intent, now, now the, the meaning, if you use after mean, you use an infinitive, okay? It means the intention to do something intend to do something. Let's look at the example. I meant to find your mother, but my model didn't work. I meant to find your mother, but my model didn't work. Mm -hmm. this, this totally means um, I had the intention. If you say I meant, this equals. I, I meant I meant to go to the gym, but I don't, <laughs> I don't have energy. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, I, or, I didn't or voluntary. Yeah. I, 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 oh, oh, I didn't have the will. You will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, didn't I didn't have, have the will. will. <laughs> I didn't have the will. I was like, In this willingness. case, meant the, <laughs> the mm -hmm. mean means. <laughs> the mean means. <laughs> Intent. Yeah, to have the intention. But, no, but the intention, but intent is a bird teacher. Yes. And yes. yeah, it could be a verb and a noun too. Look at the example. Intention. I had the intention. Yeah. Yes, I meant intention. to buy the I meant to buy you a present, but I don't have money. <laughs> Excellent. I mean, the, the intention yeah. is is, yeah. is good. I have the intention. Yeah. <laughs> I meant to I meant to buy you a purse, but I had no money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they meant they meant to hire you at Taka, but they found but out. <laughs> but they find out that you're a dwarf. <laughs> Hope you got it. <laughs> intentaron contratar en taca pero se dieron cuenta de que eres enanito so no <laughs> okay that happened to someone I know okay hey uh, recommendation of movie to watch during the weekend Iron Will Iron Will I love Hotchkiss and this movie is about Hotchkiss I'm sorry it's a very old movie from the 80s I can't remember the name in Spanish yeah Iron Will. I think we just watched it recently on Stars or Disney. No, Disney. Okay. So I had the intention. Peter. Hey. Sorry. Uh, I just want to ask you if I say, um, if I say something like "ingerent," you've taken a bad a bad decision, which means facing up consequences will be good. Which totally. means facing up consequences. Which and means? And then if we tried in infinitive, mm -hmm. um, I, I have a doubt on this one, but I think it could be I meant you to face up consequences, uh, but you don't really care about it. 
but you didn't you didn't really care mm -hmm. or you don't because, care about, mm, about it. <laughs> i meant you to face co a consequence to face consequences mm -hmm. but you don't care about it so you're fired <laughs> that, that that sounds yeah totally that sounds really okay. good be careful how you use it. I'm giving you a great power. Be careful how you use it. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, I meant to break up with you. But then, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I meant to break up with you, but then, I realized I, I love twice. <laughs> oh, that's better. But then I, but then I, twice, but then I thought twice. But then I thought twice. But then I had a second thought. But then I had a, th a second thought. But then I realized I love you. Oh. Okay. So many examples. Questions about this one? ¿Alguna pregunta con eso? ¿Alguien está perdido? ¿Se siente como que está en el limbo? In infinitive, in infinitive, all the time, mm -hmm. we use meant. Let's think about it. I mean, I always mean. Oh. This is the past, yes, teacher. I mean, I meant to do it. <laughs> okay, this is very common. I mean, I, I meant to do it. Quiero decir, lo intenté. Okay. Intenté, okay. I meant to do it. I meant to do it. Romper contigo, intenté. I meant to break up with you, yeah, but that didn't work. Okay, I mean, let's think about the past. Let's help uh, Rosalena with her question. I mean, if I just say, I mean to say the right words, that doesn't mm -hmm. make sense. Yeah. I mean. Intento decir las palabras correctas. I mean to say right No words. tendría, uh, ojo con esto, eh. I mean to say the right words, mm -hmm. but they won't come out. It's like words don't come easy to me. Okay. I mean to say the right words, but they, they won't come out. Eso está ocurriendo ahorita. Entonces, ¿será que tener la intención de hacer algo es algo momentáneo? ¿Es algo de, de ahorita? Sure. ¿O será que esto me ocurre muy a menudo? Y entonces, I always mean. Yo siempre intento. Mm -hmm. To say the right words, but they won't come out. Yo siempre intento decir las cosas, decir las palabras correctas, pero no me salen. That's what I'm saying. So, they won't come out. Eso suena más como un try, ¿verdad, teacher? Exacto. A eso voy. I, try, try. I always try to say, I try to say the right words, but they won't come out. Mm -hmm. Ahora bien. Debido a la circunstancia, I'm trying to I'm say. Trying to I'm say. trying to say the right words, but they won't come out. Lo estoy intentando. Okay. Ojo, no puedo ocupar. Vamos a continuar con la pregunta de Rosalén y quiero que quede claro. Um, meaning, I'm meaning to say the right words. Yo intentándolo. No tiene sentido. Ojo, eh. Porque en ese contexto estaría diciendo estoy intentando siempre y sería mejor decir I'm trying. I'm meaning. Estoy teniendo la intención. Estoy Así se traduciría. I'm meaning to say the right words. Estoy teniendo la intención de decir las palabras correctas. No, no, no. Couldn't do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We already saw the past. I will mean. It's an interesting thing. I will mean to what? Uh, 
I will mean. How will you conjugate the will with mean? I will mean to go. I will mean to go. No. Intencionaré ir. Tendré la intención. Yo intentaré. Oh, then I will try. Again, I'll try to go. Yo trataré. I'll do my best to go. I'll do my best to okay. go. That sounds even better. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Right I'll do my way. best to go. I'll do my best to meet you. I'll do my best to work I'll hard. Do my best. I'll do my best. I'll De hecho, esa solo es eso por sí solo es una una frase. Hey, I'll don't do worry. My... I'll do my best. Okay. Daré lo mejor de mí. I'll do my best. I do my best. Questions? How many? How many do we have? We have forget, go on, mean. Oh, there's regret, which we kind of saw an example. Remember, that's kind of difficult. Looks into the past, looks into the future. I remember switching off the lights when I went to when I went on holiday. Remember to switch off the lights. Well, it's it's a clearer example the way we have it here. Tama mejor. The way we have it here. Don't forget, you can watch this video again and understand a little bit. So remember, looks back in the past again. I remember switching off the lights when I went on holiday. But I don't know. I remember I did it. Okay. Looking into the past. Miren esto como algo muy textual. O sea, ver en el pasado es cerrar los ojos y decir, uh, sí, no. Right. Lo que hace mi hijo después de haberse cambiado la ropa. Te cambiaste la camisa. O sea, te acabas de cambiar en el cuarto. Es que no me acuerdo. I'm like, you just came out of the room, right? What's wrong with you? El más pequeño tiene la, la manía del papá. Igual. Ok. So I remember. The level of the distraction. Yeah. It's just, but you know what? Eso significa que es bien inteligente porque siempre está pensando en miles de cosas. Su cerebro no le da importancia a ciertas cosas. Eso es bien duro. Y se, solo se logra controlar con los años. So, y tiene la letra pateada igual que yo. Porque cuando está explicando algo, está, ya está pensando en lo que viene o ya otra manera de hacer mejor las cosas. Eh, ay, si me hubieran viendo clases dando clases presenciales se vuelven locos. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, I remember switching off the lights. I, I remember. remember. I remember playing with my friends when I mm -hmm. was a kid. Even clearer. Yeah, that's a clearer image. That's a clear picture of you playing with your friends. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Look back in the past. Okay. Uh, do you remember, Anaselmi, if you told Rosalena? Did you tell Rosalena? Rosalena? <laughs> Follow me, come I on. Forgot. I forgot, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. I am uh, very intelligent. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Don't mock at me. Don't I'm sorry. In, uh -huh. in, my, in my mind, uh -huh. I... Um, I am. Um, mm, I was uh, related, related, related with the other way. I can say, mm -hmm. I remember when I was playing with my friends. That's very specific. I remember when I was playing with my friends. Yeah. But if Rosie say, 
Mm. Remember playing. I remember playing with my friends. Yeah, those moments. I rem it's like using used to, remember? Yo solía. Uh huh. I remember I used to play with my friends. I remember I used to. Yeah, play. I was I was a very energetic mm -hmm. girl, so I remember playing a lot every day with my friends. I remember playing. Mm -hmm. That's remember, like something you used to do. I remember runner running under the rain. Under. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Under. Exactly. Running, eh, Rosita. Yeah, running under the rain. Yeah, I, rem under. I, rem I remember. Oh. I remember kissing under the rain. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> running under the rain is amazing. You are very yes. romantic. Yeah, teacher. <laughs> uh, what can I tell you? Anyways. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Yeah. How do you say casa de herrero, cuchillo de palo? Casa de herrero, cuchillo de palo. Ooh. I don't know. Okay. So, infinitive, let's see. Looks into the future really quick. We're missing one minute. Remember to switch off the lights when you go on holiday. So, the previous one was a memory, right? That's it. It's just a memory that comes to your brain. This one is again a warning. Remember to tell Rosalena and send me, please, please don't forget. Okay, remember to tell Rosalena. Okay, remember to wash the dishes. Remember washing. Mm. To wash. Remember washing the dishes. In the fridge. Sí, sí, me acuerdo, me acuerdo. Bien chivo cuando lavé los baños. Los platos. Remember to buy a present for your mom. Ojo, ojo, ojo. Remember buying a present for your mother? Yes, I remember. I remember. I bought a present buying? for my mother. Be careful. Remember buying a present for your mother? Yes, I know. I remember. I bought a present for her. That's amazing when you do that, right? Oh. No, I mean, remember to buy. Yeah, present. remember to buy. No, estoy tratando de estar en okay. que se yeah. ocupa el ING, es una memoria uh -huh. de, de lo que. Right? Ajá, uh -huh. something you did. A, a memory of the past. Yeah. But here is a warning for the future. Remember to buy a present. Quedémonos con ese ejemplo. Eh? Buying a present, to buy a present puede cambiar totalmente el significado. Ok. Voy a enviar el listado, este, este link. Um, hay varios ejemplos ahí. Está stop, try, like, be afraid, need, used to. And there are a lot of other exercises that you can use. I'm not sure if I sent you this before, but it's a great thing to read. Okay. Uh, you just did it. Okay. So let's do the attendance and I'm staying with Pame just for 10 minutes. Good night, everybody. Don't forget to visit us tomorrow at eight o'clock. Good night. Good night. And Stephanie Martinez. Good night. 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 Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Good night. Good night. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good night. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good night, Carlita. Kenia Michelle Lara Sayas. Present. Good night. Good night. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good night. Good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Excellent. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. 
Present. Good night. Good night. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good night. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Okay, guys. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Hello, Beatrice. Hello. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I'm Beatrice. <laughs> really? Beatrice, Beatrice. Uh, yeah, I'm Mexican. What's going on with you? Are you sick? Uh, no, very busy. What? What's going on? Tell me. Oh, well, um, on this week, uh, we have in El Salvador the Bitcoin conference. So I didn't, uh, I went there and, well, it's all the days. Well, all, all those days. Um, and that takes me time. <laughs> Well, the conference, so everything is in English. Um, the people there are around there is also from another cultures. What's the well, conference uh, about? Bitcoin. Oh, Bitcoin. really? Yeah. Are you it into Are you into Bitcoin? You're breaking up. Not exactly, my boyfriend. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, and so. Yeah. Is she a minor or, or what? Uh, well, he is doesn't, well, the Bitcoiner doesn't like to say that like minors because mm -hmm. you reference to the old crypto coins mm -hmm. and they don't, they don't believe on that exactly, only on Bitcoin. So is he just, he's an investor, let's say. Broker, yeah, a little bit only with Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, but it went down really bad. Uh, yeah, well, it's when you need to decide to buy, it's well, it's when you need to decide to sell, sell or buy, sell or buy when it's down. <laughs> what? Yeah, I know, I know, but if you sell when it is, for example, now. It's mm -hmm. a good, uh, it's a good uh, time to sell. Aren't they, aren't there good expectations? Um, Bitcoiners always are very, they are, uh, they have also good expectations because they think, they, uh, yeah, they believe that in 2030. 2020, uh, 2030. They, uh, yeah, 23, sorry. Uh, the value of the Bitcoin could be more expensive than now. Well, now uh, the Bitcoin, it's, among, um, it's around... What two, is it? No. Uh, I don't remember what is the value now. Is for it? one Bitcoin. I don't uh -huh, for one coin? Uh... Right now it's on sixteen thousand eight hundred thirty-two point ninety. Yeah. Oh wait. Yeah, it didn't go that far down. Mm -hmm. well, actually, actually, it did. Uh, hold on. 16. Yeah, I really don't need, Yeah, I tried to understand about the Bitcoin, but uh, it's a kind of difficult. Well, uh, the reason that I'm well, uh, that the really cool about the, the, the conference is the networking also, but I try to understand people of New Zealand. From New Zealand? Yeah, I don't, well, they speak very different. I think the most difficult to me was the U, UK or Australian, but British. I've never... 
I have never heard about uh, uh, English from New Zealand. I do. I've you never do. heard. I never heard. I never heard. I never heard of New Zealand accent. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so you met a lot of people. Yeah, also African. Well, uh, yeah, maybe the African, the African boys that I met. Well, well, I always stay with my with my boyfriend because well, he's Australian, so he he doesn't speak in is Spanish, so I always speak with the, with he in English. With him, but with him, with him in English, uh, but. Mm, they don't understand also the uh, the African boys, the the African men that we met. Uh huh. Some and, Africans, some Africans speak uh, French actually better than Spanish. Yeah, uh, well, they every that every there everything everybody there speak only in English, and uh, so I didn't know. I don't know. Well, yeah, I didn't know if he. The, the African guy can speak. Could. Well, if he could, if he could speak. Yeah, if he could speak in, the, in Spanish as well. <laughs> Did they try? Uh, never exactly. No. <laughs> it's well, funny. It's funny. I wait, wait. To ask him from from his uh, his name. But I didn't. I didn't understand why he said it. it and they said, "Ah, oh, can you repeat it?" And it's like he said me again, and I didn't understand. And say that okay, my name is Pamela, because <laughs> I didn't understand what is his name. I just remind me of the meme. What's your What's your name? My name. My name. <laughs> Can you spell it? Ale, Ale, what? The? I mean, they go like, yeah, Americans uh, have difficulty understanding actually all their cultures' names. When mm -hmm. they when they're not familiar with those things, yeah, yeah, I think that could be happen that the uh, the name could I couldn't familiar to me. Is that familiar with me? It wasn't familiar for me. Totally, mm -hmm. they call me Raphael, 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 uh -huh. all the time. Yeah. You know, it's Raphael, Raphael. But I never correct them. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I always say uh, my name is Pamela instead of Pam Pamela. And said, you can call me Pam. It's more easy. It's easier. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, easier. It's easier. Yeah, it's easier totally. to remember. Hey, but that's good to hear that you're practicing. I thought about going, you know, to the conference because I like talking about that topic with a lot of entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. I love yeah. the topic. I was on the conference on the... Um, how do you call this? The virtual conference, the first virtual conference. And that was last year. But what's funny is there were about 2,000, 2,500 people listening to the conference. Mm -hmm. And suddenly, when I joined, the president joined. So we, we kind of joined at the same time. Mm -hmm. And my my avatar from twitter was here and here was the president i was like oh my god i'm next to him <laughs> <laughs> so i was just listening right mm -hmm. and everybody said uh -huh. hey the president is here and then it went from 2500 to almost 10,000 people connected uh -huh. did you hear you yeah. remember no i i don't remember but it could be happening because if he is connected, most more people more people connect. Yeah. Yeah, that was an amazing experience. So yeah, hopefully that thing goes up again because it was a big fall. It was on 20th. on Twitter, you say it. No, no, no. About Bitcoin on November fifth on November fifth, Saturday, it was on mm -hmm. twenty one thousand, twenty one thousand dollars. And mm -hmm. recently on November 9th. It went down to fifteen thousand. Mm -hmm. So, but it's variable. I mean, it's yeah, it's very variable. Uh, you can, uh, it's always low and down and up. Ups and downs. Uh, uh, people say me that 
uh, it's more up than than now than, than, than down. now yeah yeah something good could happen and you know it will raise up good yeah. to have you back don't get lost we're almost done okay i know that take care good night bye good morning good night sorry oh my god good morning <laughs> bye family. Bye.